Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Oops. Whoops. Let's get this tape off of here now. See what we got under there. Yes. There's what it looks like once you pull the tape off. You can see it flattens out, and then I'll just take my uh, one of my sanders and I'll sand this all down. And after I sand it all down, we'll give it a couple coats of primer and paint it up. everybody welcome back to the channel well big hello to all the new subscribers you know I was thinking I could get started on uh, sanding this bonnet here and then I'd get all fiberglassy and stuff and, and I was thinking you know I'd rather go on a walk or something like that maybe go down to the harbor and see if there's any new boat specimens showed up of late or whatnot instead of getting out to Sanders and all that sounds like a good idea to me you want to come along let's go I don't know if you can see it but those are 300 horsepower each 900 horsepower they got the welding truck down here doing some welding on the boom Landing craft Kitta. Three 300 horsepower Suzuki's. That's a nice one. The harbor's looking fairly full as far as the smaller Saners go. No snow on Pillar Mountain yet. But the salmon season's over. And all the green grass has turned brown. 
Well, not all. Still kind of green here. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, the temperature right now is about 32, right at the freezing mark. You can see we got snow up on barometer there. Mountain out in the distant there. Anybody need a bent rudder? Or what's left of one? <laughs> There's a seal on the, uh, no, that's a sea otter. It's like, I've never seen a seal, but yeah, you see these sea otters time to time. Water must be cold when the sea otters jump out. How you doing? Wonder if there's an orca around. They'll sometimes climb out on these finger piers like that if there's an orca there. Hello. I'm over here. I can't get you. <laughs> What's happening? He don't want to go in that water. Might be injured or something, I don't know. What you doing? out here today. How you doing Mr. Sea Otter? How you doing? You a cutie? Looks like an old one. He don't like me being here. I leave. Let you be on your own. Now this boat here, I believe, is what they use to harvest kelp. That's what I said. Kelp. I'm pretty sure that's that's one of their boats. You can see all this green stuff on the front. They uh they have kelp farms. It started up here a few years ago, and in fact, that hydraulic power pack right there, I sold this guy. That Honda motor back there. If you want to know how to deep water release a rockfish, that sign right there will tell you how. See how you tie the jig upside down here? And then you get rid of the barb. You can pause it and read all about it. That's how you do it. Real nice. Real nice there. And there. Pretty much twins, I think. Well, that one's got a different, gla mostly glass door. This one's got a mostly aluminum door. Ooh, look at that. Nice anchor set up there. There's a set of twins, too, pretty much. <laughs> Kathy Ann. What we got there? Nice, huh? If 
fella told me, I asked him about these white Suzuki's. He says you have to pay more than a thousand dollars to get them in white. Which I found a little interesting. That's what he said. I don't know, I don't know if that's true. That's what he told me. Got the www dot. So there you go. If you want to do a charter in Kodiak, right there is your www and w's and the dot coms. Nice boat to do one on. Yeah. nice Mercury's twin Mercs Ooh, what size are those let's go over here and look at these Mercs see what we got are those optimax Let's see the horsepower where's the horsepower He's, oh there it is 225s it's scraped off there but if you look close you can see it got a pair of 225 optimax i've actually worked on these optimax on on a few occasions and uh i find them to be pretty daggum decent engines um, yeah, I mean they seem to hold up well as, as far as I can see. I've worked on a few of them and I like them. You can find them on my videos, you gotta go look. But they're there. What's he got on the back of that thing? That's more than white, boy look at that, isn't that nice? You cannot hide your dinero! Oh, here's one for sale. The Fiona. Now, I, I don't know, but I, I have a friend. Call him Mr. G. Mr. G says you can buy boats like this down here for three or four thousand bucks. They'll ask a lot, a whole lot more. But they won't get it. Yeah, and he he buy he he kind of dabbles in that. He he buys these older boats and flips them. Ooh. Now there you go. That's what I'm talking. Look at that. The white and silver dual prop counter rotating Zukis. Isn't that something? 300, 600 Hosi powers. Right there. What do you think that, what do you think one of, one of those will set you back? Yeah. That nice aluminum boat, I bet that thing just gets up and moves with that. And your maneuverability on it would be just, you know, twins like that with the dual rotating props. I bet you can spin that thing on a dime. Yep. What is that? A couple hundred grand at least. Bay Weld Boats. That's how you have fun around Kodiak. Right there. Or you can do that. Not me. From sea to shining. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I hear quackers. There you go. I have seen people come to this island and be on boats like that 
and I'll, ask, I'll talk to them, and they, they believe it, they come from all, all around the world. I've met people from Australia, Argentina, all over in them blow boats. There's some harlequin ducks. Yep, three drakes and a hen. Look at that. Hanta Yo. I'm over in Homer, Alaska. Yeah, some of these blowboats, they come from literally all over. Yeah, they do. There's the jellyfish. Don't get stung by the jellyfish. Nice little landing, landing craft type boat. Those are real popular up here because we have so limited road system. They can take a boat like that. You can put your ATVs on it and go into these remote bays, lower that door down and or that door down and uh, unload your ATVs or in this case raft. Forget me not. Then you got this one. I. Boom, 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 boom. Boy, that's a nice one, isn't it? Look at the bow on that. It don't. It don't look. You know, it's got a. Well, I bet that's a double ramp. I bet it folds down. You know, out twice. That's what I'm thinking. Cause that that ramp like that, probably, yeah, it does. I'm sure it does. I can see in there a weld, and uh, yeah, probably falls down twice. Then you got something. And look at this thing here. Isn't that beautiful? Now I don't know about now, but years ago. I did a marine inspection on this boat here, and that was over 20 years ago. And the gentleman that owned it, when I went on board it, and it looked about like this on, on the outside, then I, no, the paint was better. Certainly the bottom paint was better. But when I went inside it, he made me take my boots off. And I went in there, and uh, I mean, you could eat off of any part of the deck in that boat. And it, it was just an immaculately clean working vessel, and the owner of it was a true old school, what I would call like, oh, the old Gordon Fisherman type. Wore the fishing hat, and uh, every part of the boat, it's a double ender, see the rudder down in there and all, oh, no. it ain't been moved in a long time, barnacles are all in, the, I doubt that rudder would even work. Boat. Mm -hmm. 
Cabundão. Ele tá aqui. The Alaska Rose. Definitely an added on enclosed top house there. He's even got the uh, crow's nest up there. It's for spotting them schools of jumpers, salmon. Do you remember here? A few videos ago I caught some nice silver salmon. What you're looking at there is toasted bagel with smoked salmon dip and salmon roe red caviar. People use that for bait. Oh my Yummy. Well now, that was a nice little walk around. A little windy, a little cloudy, but hey. Just wanted to get out and do a little walking. Look at some boats and that kind of thing. So, that's all I'm going to do in this video. Just a little harbor walk around. Look at some boats. Some critters maybe. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. That's one more non-hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.